Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share something new to me. Um, I have been contemplating going into the new year with um, a more simplistic approach to planning. Um, I do, I have caved in to all this planning goodies, which I love by the way. I have countless planners and different systems that I'm trying out and I feel that I'm all over the place and I I like to find something that would like kind of summon it all together. I have tried my I love my traveler's notebook for that reason. I have um, a bunch of inserts that serve a different purpose but I like the fact that I could carry it together in one place um, that I like that but I've also liked the idea of this bullet journaling because it's the most simplistic way of planning period in my opinion um, I've been looking at different ways to bullet journal I went to the bulletjournal.com just to see the basics of it and I I find myself, you know, trying, kind of wanting to give that a try, all right? And that's why I went and I purchased me this pretty journal, extremely inexpensive. I think I bought it in Barnes & Noble's on sale during the Christmas hype. Uh, I think that, you know, why not give it a try? So I wanna show you what I've done so far in this bullet journal and okay let's just take a look okay i it's aligned i don't think i like the lines in it to be honest i think i like the ones that have the the dotted pages but this will have to do for now because i consider this to be like a play bullet journal kind of thing <laughs> anyways so what i did i made a key because right, you have to have a key you have to if you go to bulletjournal.com it gives you different markers for your journal and different marks mean different things you could customize however you want or you could just use the basics that they suggest in there this is so far what I have here um, but I like color Hence the choice of cover that I did. I like color and I think I like to give color to my different categories, per se. Okay. This, I have 2016 here and I wrote some things that I like to get personal. But these are some of the new things that I am looking forward in 2017. I'm not finished. I'm just... You know going with the flow and just putting words in here that would that I look forward to like when I see 2017 it's just like a new opportunity to reset anything that you've done and accomplished by now but anyways I saw this in a page um, an Instagram boho berry I think she's awesome at her bullet journaling and she did a spread just like this of course with different words like that and i thought that was a great idea so i personalized that to fit my own experience so this is my first page actually i have 2016 here and i like to keep that personal like i said but this is 2017 but what i really wanted to show you guys is this calendex idea Okay, usually in the bullet journaling world, you have to have an index, which is why, hold on. Some of the journals that you purchase already, they already come, I'll show you this. This is my mini bullet journaling. They already come with an index here. Okay, they want you to keep an index so that you don't get lost in your own notebook. So once you put an entry, let's say, the index correlates it's linked it's directly linked to the number of pages so this one is nicely already numbered 
all right but you don't have to buy a notebook you could just buy any notebook because all you need is a notebook and a pen you don't need anything else you could add color of course that I love you could add stickers swatch your tape whatever you want you just make it your own but the the idea behind it is that your index will reflect what you have in your journal so let's say you have made an appointment and it comes on page six then you put that appointment here on page six or something so it's like a reference kind of pages so normal journals have that but this particular system which was developed by um, Eddie Hope I believe I hope I am not wrong <laughs> Um, he developed this and I think this is genius it's it's a calendar mixed with an index so what it is you it's called a calendex for 2017 and I, like I said I like color so you know I have to add some color and of course I had to match my front cover so I chose this color here um, and you have to have well you don't have to but boho berry actually she added color in her calendex and she and that's what i like most about it like i i like i said before in some of my videos i am a visual person and i have to i want to open my books and see what's going on so color does that for me so in in a notebook that is only pen once you add color to it, the minute you open it, it your eyes are going to be drawn onto whatever color you choose. I haven't chosen any colors yet, that's why this is empty here, but I just wanted to introduce the concept of this calendar system. Okay, so what you do, you give yourself 31 days, or 30, whatever, but the maximum is 31. Because months don't have more than 31 days. That is how simple that is. So you give yourself 31 days and then you number your months. I did January through December. And what it is, these spaces here represent weeks. Okay? Um, funny enough, February and March actually, you see, they have like the same weeks, but February has only 28 days and that's why this is a little shaded. I don't know if you can see it, but. Um, this is a little shaded here. Some people are very good at this, but I'm not. I'm just a beginner, and, but I wanted to introduce this idea just in case someone is interested about it. Anyways, so let's say you have um, birthdays. And I could number, um, I could give birthdays a color. And let's say you have a birthday on January 2nd. You could just put that, you could put a dot here. And as you do your dailies, I haven't set it up like I said, it's a nice and empty. And this is what I like most actually. It's nice and empty and you could change it up, you could do things, you could add things, you could delete things, whatever you want. You could just customize this to what it is. I just like the idea of having everything put at a glance. So when you actually do your dailies and monthlies, this is a reflection of what you will write within these pages. All right, right? Isn't that the coolest idea ever? I think so. Um, I like this size. If it's nicely in a purse, it's extremely durable. It's like a fall leather. This guy, yeah, I think I only paid like $7 for this, but I wanted to play around with it and see where this takes me. All right, so I don't know if I explained well enough, but what I'll do for you, I will link down below um, Eddie Hope's website what he has this explained in detail for you you could take a look and find out if that is something that you might want to try out i hope this could help someone out there someone that watches my videos and until i mean for now i'll continue to play with my bullet journal let's see i don't know let's see i do like the fact that i could keep everything in one book <laughs> right that's awesome but like I said, I do love all of my other notebooks. I love this little guy. I like I like the idea of having everything together in one place, which is actually what this is for extremely simplified with um, just pens, pens and a notebook. All right, guys, I, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.